Tell me what it's like to live with superpowers. I don't know, but I'm gonna get it. Hey everyone, it's me, Dee Rainey, back again with another video. So if you don't know me, now my name is Dee. I am a serial entrepreneur as well as the owner of Eris Beauty. Um, so today I am going to address a question that I can't believe I've never talked about this before, but I am gonna address the question today of what happens during the healing process. So I've got my notes uh, because whenever the camera comes on, I tend to lose my train of thought. So what happens during the healing process when you are getting your brows done via permanent makeup so whether that's either microblading um, ombre shading uh, combination brows which is a combination of microblading and shading um, some people call it micro shading uh, hybrid brows um, whatever microblading or whatever permanent makeup technique that you're going to get this is traditionally the healing process that you will go through so First and foremost, when the brows are first done, they will look incredible. The color is going to be perfect. Everything's going to be amazing. Uh, even if you experience a little bit of swelling during your actual service. Now, by the time you wake up the next day, so we're going into official 24 hours after your first service, um, your brows, when you wake up, your brows will be darker. So the pigment has started to dry overnight. Um, so when you wake up the next day, usually the first reaction is, oh my goodness, I can really see my brows now because they're darker. Um, so don't I'll get alarmed, don't be freaked out. Um, that's just the pigment has dried and now your brows are starting the healing process after the first 24 hours. Now first, by the time the first 48 hours have, have passed, your brows will be dark. Um, and sometimes, you know, clients can get alarmed, but don't worry. You have to just trust the process because once the process is done, the brows will look amazing, okay? So the first 48 hours, just remember that your brows will be darker from the time that you sat up from your initial service when you first got them done. So they'll be darker, okay? After that time, um, and I wanna just, one caveat that I wanna talk about is um, this is gonna be a little different depending on your skin type. So normal to dry skin is what I'm gonna talk about now. And then I'm gonna talk about the differences if you have oilier skin, okay? So normal to dry skin, what you're going to experience is that your skin is going to start to be really dry. Um, you're gonna start experiencing some flaking. If you had previous tattoos before, any kind of tattoos, whether it's just a regular tattoo or other permanent makeup, you, you'll you be familiar with the body's healing process during the process of getting a tattoo. So um, your body will start to begin the healing process, which means that you will start to have experience some flaking or some um, scabbing is another way you wanna put it, um, over, the areas, right? And that is just your body healing. So during that time, um, I, for my clients, I always recommend um, just applying a natural oil to your brows. Um, we here at Eris Beauty, we have our own, um, we have our own oil, we have our own uh, tattoo cream that we use, um, that we always recommend because it is 100% natural um, for our clients to have the best optimal healing process. However, you know, you all always have the option of just using a 100% natural oil. I don't recommend Vaseline, I don't re recommend any petroleum jellies, I don't recommend anything that's not 100% natural and that can um, be easily absorbed into the skin. I mean, it's your face, so I won't wanna just put anything on that. So, um, again, so after the first 48 hours, when you start experiencing the, the, um, the flakes, when they start to get harder, when you can feel that, okay, my brows are starting to experience this, that's when I suggest starting to, you know, apply a thin layer first thing in the morning and then apply that every morning until those flakes have completely come off. So that's the next process that's the next phase is you will start experiencing those flaking that flaking those flakes starting to come off um so don't pick if you are a picker you must refrain don't pick them don't scratch them off let them do their thing right um if you have a spoolie you can always spoolie your brows so that way they can just kind of naturally just kind of if they're ready to fall off they'll just fall off on their own but don't just go aggressively trying to get them off or picking at them don't do that 
um, again, you're touching them, you're exposing them, your hands are, you know, uh, can have bacteria on them. You just don't want to expose them to any unnecessary bacteria that can cause the risk of infection. Okay. So, um, so then the flaking is the next process. Okay. After about six to eight days of that, uh, from your initial service, the flakes usually have all come off. Your brows are going to be like really light. And usually this is when I get the calls of panic. Um, oh my God, my brows have completely gone away. <laughs> or, um, you know, they're super light and don't worry. It's fine. The body is just regenerating. It's healing. When your skin starts to regenerate, it will come back and it will come back 30 to 50% lighter. It's like a little magic trick. I don't know how to explain it, but it really is. Um, 30 to 50% lighter, right? So when you get to day 15, day um, between day seven um, to 10, you your brows will start to regenerate and come back. By the time day 15 comes, you're really, for the most part, on the outside of your your um, surface layer of your skin is, is pretty much healed. But the reason why you can't come back for a touch up during this time is because you're still healing underneath the, uh, on the epidermis of the skin layer, right? You're still, still being, your, your body is still healing underneath the layers that you can see. So while that is happening, you're you can't you're not eligible to come back in for a touch up. That's why touch ups are always four to six weeks, even eight weeks after your initial service, because then that's when you can safely do a touch up on the skin and it will, you know, reduce any risk of tr um, excessive trauma or injury or infection um, or just having a very poor result. So you want to make sure that you're following the process. Um, so again, the total process for, of healing is four to six weeks. After the initial service, your brows will look incredible. Day two and day, excuse me, day one and day two, your brows will look really, really dark, okay? Day three to day eight, you will experience the flaking, the scabbing, and then um, the, you'll, the brow, the, the flakes will naturally just come off. Um, day eight to day 15, your brows are starting to come back and really be, um, you'll start to really see them and enjoy them. Of course, at this time, you're also noticing that you, you definitely want to touch up. Okay. And then by the time you come back after, you know, by the time you hit day 30 or, you know, day 30, it's your four week, four week mark. You're eligible to come back in for your touch up. You get a touch up and boom, we put the second layer of color onto your brows and your brows are amazing. Yeah. Why is a touch up so important? And why is a touch up necessary? Well, we'll address that in the next video. So again, I hope you found this information really helpful. Um, again, if you have any questions, if there's something that I didn't cover that you had a question about, please don't hesitate to drop a comment or a question in the comment section. And I'll be happy to go ahead and look through, look those over and ask. Otherwise, if you made it to the end of this video, type new brow in the comments, so I know that you made it through. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye. Y'all, I completely left the video and I forgot to tell you guys what to expect if you have oily skin. How y'all let me do that? Y'all should have told me. Anyway, if you have oily skin, your healing results will be a lot better than normal to dry clients. For clients that have oilier skin, their natural sebum that lives in the skin that actually naturally secretes or comes out through their pores will coat the brows and make the healing process that much easier. So what I've seen is that clients that have oily skin, when they come back for their touch up and I ask them, how was your, how was your healing process? They literally have hardly anything to say. Most of them are just like, I really didn't have to do anything. I just woke up and it was great. You know, I didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't horrible at all. I love that, by the way. I love when I hear that kind of result um, <laughs> or that kind of process that they went through. But most often clients that have oily skin have the best healing process. They don't have to worry about the flakes as much. They don't have to worry about, you know, the itchiness or anything like that. They really just heal awesome. Um, the other part to that too is that most of them is that if they do apply a natural oil, sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming to introduce um, more oil to oily skin because you know it's just an overload. It's an oil overload to the skin. Say that ten times fast. <laughs> 
Uh, so for those clients, I actually, actually um, suggest them just you know seeing how their healing process goes if they need the additional oil go ahead and put it on but you know everybody's skin is different and everybody's body heals differently so with that being said just take the time um, figure out if that's going to be something that you need if you don't honey just go through your day but the best part about it is that they have some of the best healing healing processes so uh, I can't believe I, I forgot that I had to come back and give, give you all the tea honey because I forgot Okay, um, and let me see. Let me try to make sure I didn't forget nothing else. Okay, I think I'm good. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to talk to you in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye. You got me shaking, yeah, I feel the fever come.